Hello everyone, welcome to Business School 101. Many people feel disappointed with economists because their predictions often seem way off. Stock market crashes, recessions, inflation, why do they never see these coming? Is it bad judgment? Flawed models? Or is the problem bigger than that? The truth is, economic forecasting is so darned hard because the economy is a constantly shifting, incredibly complex system influenced by millions of unpredictable decisions. In this video, we're diving into why the inaccuracy of economic forecasts isn't just about human error, it's a fundamental consequence of how the economy itself works. Section 1. The Endogeneity of Economic Systems. What defines the economic system's characteristics? Imagine playing a chess game with a unique twist, every time you contemplate your next move, all the pieces on the board quietly shift positions because they are also adjusting themselves based on your thinking. This is the endogeneity of the economic system. To put it more professionally, endogeneity means that each participant within the system influences one another, and everyone's decisions change the decision-making environment for others. This might sound abstract, so let's look at a simple example. Section 2. Housing price example. Suppose a renowned economist predicts that housing prices will rise by 20% next year. The moment this prediction is published, interesting market changes will occur. Tom, planning to buy a house, decides to purchase immediately after hearing about the potential price increase. Jerry, who was planning to sell a house, now decides to wait. Developers, seeing the optimistic forecast, accelerate the development of new housing projects. Banks, anticipating increased housing demand, adjust their mortgage policies. Investment clients begin entering the market and accumulating housing resources, forward slash. How will the cumulative effect of these decisions play out? Perhaps housing prices will rise more than 20% due to increased buying pressure, or maybe the increased housing supply will result in a lower price increase than predicted. What we can be certain of is that the final market outcome will significantly deviate from the economist's original prediction based on initial information. Economic predictions are fascinating in this way, the prediction itself changes reality. This is entirely different from weather forecasting. If a weather report predicts rain tomorrow, clouds won't change their minds upon hearing the forecast. However, once an economic prediction is published, all economic participants will adjust their behavior based on this prediction, ultimately changing the economic outcome. Section 3. Central Bank Example. Let's take another example. When the central bank hints at lowering interest rates, the market often reacts before the actual rate cut, companies might plan new investments in advance, the stock market might rise preemptively, consumers might postpone certain purchase decisions, and real estate developers might adjust their sales strategies. By the time the central bank actually lowers interest rates, the market might have already absorbed this information and presented a completely different state. This explains why economists' predictions always seem inaccurate, because the prediction itself changes reality. The accuracy of economic forecasts depends not just on economists' professional skills but is constrained by the unique endogenous characteristics of the economic system. Every prediction becomes a new variable influencing the future, and this self-referential nature makes accurate prediction extraordinarily difficult. Section 4. Are economic predictions useless? Does this mean economic predictions are worthless? Certainly not. Understanding the interactive relationship between prediction and reality helps us better comprehend how the economy operates. Perhaps the value of economic predictions lies not in their ability to accurately prophesy the future, but in helping us understand this complex economic world and the role each of us plays within it. The next time you see a discrepancy between an economic prediction and reality, perhaps you can approach it from a different angle. How has this prediction itself influenced reality? The question of whether the prediction is accurate might not be as important. What matters is understanding the fascinating interactive relationship between predictions, decisions, and outcomes. Alright, that's all for today's topic. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.